of all, is it even possible to be feminine in this country? Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Chica, the one and the only. Before we get into this video, you know what to do. Like, comment and subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comment section. So today's video, we're going to be talking about femininity in Nigeria. First of all, is it even possible to be feminine in this country? That's the question that we need to answer in this video. But first of all, let's talk about femininity. What is femininity? Femininity is basically the qualities or attributes that characterize a woman. That is the Google translation of what femininity is. So if you have any other definition, comment down below. So let's talk about why it's hard to be a feminine person in Nigeria. So let's not let's not forget that every woman has masculine energy and feminine energy, which one is more dominant than the other. But we're going to be talking about why it's hard to be or harder to be a feminine lady in Nigeria. Number one, having a man take care of you in this country is classified as gold digging. Hello? What is femininity all about? I don't I don't I don't understand it. Nigerian men are so impatient that the first time a lady asks for help in terms of finances or any other kind of help is assumed that the girl is trying to take advantage of him, it's assumed that she's trying to be a gold digger. And you ask yourself, where is the gold? The so reason why it's hard to be feminine in Nigeria is when you raise your voice in a public place. Now it's quite understood that women are not supposed to speak in a certain tone and you know in this country it's just impossible. I mean you are in a bus or you are driving and a downfall driver hits your car. Excuse me, are you supposed to be whispering? Femininity in Nigeria is so hard because in a, in a normal setting, probably abroad or wherever else you find yourself, apart from this country, it's like guys are already out there coming to your aid. What's going on? Nigerian man will not even send you, except you are hot. That's the only way. Except even if you are hot, they will try to take advantage of you. But abroad or any other place, it's like, what's going on? Let's fix this. Let's know what the problem is. Nigerians will just be like, I think they worry this one. I better make we hear what do. Maybe now husband can, maybe now, you know, stuff like that, and it gets really annoying. So it really leaves you no choice than to actually defend yourself, raise your voice if the need be. I'm using myself as an example. I'm not saying anybody. If you do anyhow, you see anyhow. Okay? Period. And number three reason why it's hard to be feminine in this country. Imagine coming back from your workplace at now, also, there's even more touch now based on there's BRT and everything. Forget BRT, let me say you're coming back late and that way is passing you are running to catch a bus it's not feminine in any way it's not even masculine if you ask me imagine this country is in fact this country is hard as it is even to be masculine itself is not even easy but we're focusing on femininity today now you're running to catch a bus imagine you all dressed up doing your sari <laughs> As in, it's very, very embarrassing. Is embar you not embarrassed? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. So it's like, imagine how, how femininity running to catch a bus. Where does he? Where does he come together? You know what I mean? It's hard because at the end of the okay now, if you don't run to catch a bus, you will stand there, there. So if you like, you don't run. Stay there within docking movements. It go shock you. <laughs> Number four, why you know it's very very hard to be feminine in Nigeria. Now imagine, look at me now, look at me as a lady now, as, as I find rich like this. Now makeup, I, you cannot see me like this on a regular day in Lagos. It is not possible. Except I'm going out to lunch, except I'm going to hang out with my friends or something, recreational activities. But on a regular day, maybe I want to go to the bank, I want to go and do some run to America. You can't see me like this because number one, traffic. Number two, Chris. Number three, heat. When you want to start, it's not even if you are doing it there, could this you like I, I need to, I need to cut soap for me. Show me the way because it's not even easy. As I am like this, even inside the house, I'm already hot based on the weather. Now imagine going out, sitting there in the bus, down for that somebody stretching out to collect change, your eyebrow don't clean, your lip gloss is off. <laughs> like it's just forget about femininity in nigeria it's not easy and if you see a lady trying against all odds to be feminine please respect her because it's not easy if he's talking in a low tone which is actually hard based on the noise in the country you say hi nah, nah, nah. so this one never ready to talk you know go open your mouth you know it's it's a lot it's hard to be feminine in this country i believe that with this point you guys already know that this country so if you see a lady just acting out and being anyhow you can't really blame her this is 
where we find ourselves. Nigerian women are the most feminine women in the world, if I do say so myself. Do you know why they are not acting feminine? Because of the atmosphere they found themselves. Put a Nigerian woman in a foreign land, Dubai, or any place that is you know more organized and all that, you will see her femininity in all its glory. So please stop blaming us for not being feminine, okay? Another femininity thing, another thing that is funny to me is as a lady, you know, when you see a spider, anyway, it's not for me, Sha, because I don't believe in that. The only thing I'm scared of in this life is rats and dogs. Any other thing, I can kill it. But now imagine a lady, you know, in the traffic or in, in the bank, you know, lining up or whatever, and you see a spider, and you'll be like, ah! They'll be like, what thing they worry this one? You know, it's like, there's no, the Nigerians are not, Nigerian men are not accommodating to the feminine gender. And them, not all of them. It's just all for the them. sake of the design. It's not easy. You know, you scream and they'll be like, you know, if you kill them, you know, if you do this one, what thing they worry this one? Now tell me. So now, a woman that is naturally scared of spiders cannot act out in public based on the judgment she's going to receive. So it's hard, it's already hard enough that she's scared of spiders. Now she has to hide now she has to hide her fear of spiders. You must be joking. Guys, these points are even like a tip of the iceberg as to why Nigerian women can be feminine. I'm not even really talking about Nigerian women alone. I'm talking about women everywhere. They find themselves in countries that are not even accommodating to their feminine gender. Um, so please, when you see a Nigerian woman trying hard, doing her face beads, getting manicure, pedicure, spa sessions, all of that that makes you feel, I'm not saying these things make you feel like a woman, but they add to it. Just imagine a woman not being able to fix her nails, not being able to play dress up, not be, being able to wear her wigs, not being able to just dress up and go out. Like it removes half of the woman, you know, it just, it, these things make you feel more beautiful. It makes you feel more in charge. It makes you feel more authentic as a woman. So if you're not being able, if you're not able to do all these things, it gets hard. So I see a lot of men talking about Nigerian women don't like flowers. Nigerian women don't take compliments. These are the reasons. It's hard. This country does not accommodate our family. Like me, I'm actually a very feminine woman, but you will not know. You cannot know because it's not when I show you, you see it. I'm only feminine probably behind closed doors, probably when I'm comfortable, when I get comfortable around whoever it is that I'm with. But there are some cases you find yourself, you have to bring out the masculinity in you. If not, you'll be taking advantage of. If you're a woman that likes to do nye, 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 in public, they will use your head. They will, in fact, even the person, the person if he beats you, the person if he jam your car, he beats you on top. So you have to be smart, know how to balance out feminine, know how to bring out your masculine energy and your feminine energy. I mean, if you're in the presence of where guys are and you know, you feel like you don't need to talk, of course they can help you do certain things. But as a woman, when you find yourself in a situation whereby nobody's going to come to your aid, and it's okay to ask for help, really, like, ladies, we, we, can, we can ask for help. Forget all these things that they're saying. Some men are actually mature enough to accept, you know, feminine energy. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, as I enjoyed creating it. It's not easy, you know, being feminine and all of that. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. More videos dropping soon, you know the vibes already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!